Ryan. Yeah, you know, the pressure of a semi final. Well, but Mohamed Nabi was not listening to you, that's for sure. And of course, we'll scale that's up in the sky again. That should be another big one. Mohamed Nabi can hit the longest sixes I've seen. Such a strong guy. And uh, if the youngster Darwish Rasuli can do it, Mohamed Nabi has just walked and says, I can do it bigger and better. What a spagiza. And who are they hitting? Mujib, who's one of the better bowlers. Or spinners, young he may be in the world. There we are again, cleared his left foot out. Uh, I fear Alistair for the Nangarhar team because what have they been short on? Runs are they going to chase 240 Nangarhar lepers? But I tell you what, they need to uh, stop the bleeding here. Oh, straight away down the ground again. Now, this is another Spagiza. Oh, Mochi Baraman is not used to this sort of treatment. I tell you what, he's looking a bit perplexed out there. Smallwood lands in the gap. It's just been that sort of evening so far for the Nengahal Leopards. And that may fall short of the fielder as well. And it may go all the way for a boundary. I have to say that wasn't very clever. He knew he was not going to get to the ball. Some sense of bravado made him continue to charge. And it all uh, didn't work out very well at all. Slices off the face and that may carry all the way just to the left of the field. Uh, what a shame. Well, it wasn't off the middle of the bat, but uh, Ben Curry would have for a moment have thought he had his man. When the waves are breaking, get on the crest and they're riding a very big wave at the moment. Oh, the Bark Legends, everything they do, they seem to get a result. Not out the middle of the bed on this occasion. Tease the fielder and then drop just over the bar. They've got to, they've got to try and get the ball in the right area, got to take chances. That's huge. That is out of here. Oh, my word, it just keeps going from back. Of entertainment thus far. And it's uh, only three to two, get even better. Oh, that's lovely finesse, it really is from Mohammed Nabi. Nothing too much wrong with the delivery, he got it full, maybe not straight enough. And he's able still to caress it over the offside for another boundary. Well, brute force. And then, easier said than done, with these two hitting it the way they are. Oh, my word! Oh, that's huge! That is massive! You just knew straight away that that was out the middle of the bat. You could hear the sound. Another Spagiza and another mammoth blow from Muhammad Nabi. Well, if he hasn't hit it big enough so far, this perhaps was the biggest. It just about caught the back end of the roof of the stadium. Way over long on. No one bouncer. It was into some kind of car park there. That's not coming back. Of course, uh, the box of balls once again in evidence there. Just that one ball. And no one bounced that is. And Nihazai. Well, you can see the one. And uh, that's exactly what the Nangahal Leopards are experienced here. Because I tell you what, Mohammed Nabi is hitting it a country mile. He goes again. Has he got enough on this one? No. Finally. Finally, they get a wicket. But he's done some damage, has Mohammed Nabi. Scant consolation for the Nangahar Leopards. They're not even getting in a huddle. They're not even celebrating. They know that uh, this has been a blitzkrieg of the highest order from Mohammed Nabi. Well, he doesn't seem particularly disappointed, the former Afghanistan captain, Malvin Prayer. 47 from only 16, 20, 217.